Hi everyone and welcome back to Plus Ultra Pitching. Today we are going to cover something that is very near and dear to my heart. If you as a pitcher or as a pitching coach have noticed that a lot of your pitches are going too high or you're, you feel out of control even though you're getting a good snap on the ball or if you feel some throwing arm stiffness, you may want to take a look at your follow through. Today we are going to be covering the follow through for fast pitch softball pitchers. Now there are two kinds of follow throughs that I have found since I've started my coaching career. And one of those follow throughs is actually the one that I was taught when I started pitching, which is you come down with your pitch, you snap the ball, and then after that ball is out of your hand, your hand continues to travel upwards towards your face, your elbow bends and kind of flexes to make a muscle, and you finish like so. This is the follow through number one. Follow through number two, which is actually the follow through that I now teach, is when we come down, we snap the ball, pew, and once that ball is out of our hand, we relax our hand straight forward towards our catcher. So instead of bringing it all the way up towards our face, we snap it and we just let it continue with the momentum forward and we relax it so it kind of ends up looking really floppy. <laughs> Now, this video is not going to be a comparison of the two different follow-throughs. If that is something you are interested in, write it in the comment section below so I know that we have people who would like to learn about the differences. Today, we're gonna to be going over, instead, how I transition my girls from the follow-through that a lot of pitchers are taught, including myself, where we snap it and then bring our hand up towards our chin, to a longer and more relaxed follow through, the one that I currently teach. So there are three things that are very important to remember for this follow through. And they all start with L. So hopefully that'll be very easy to remember. The first L is long. We want our arm to be nice and long straight towards our catcher. So we don't want it short like a T-Rex arm, keeping your arm nice and long. We want our arm to be loose. We don't want to be a robot or a toy soldier here. We want a nice floppy wrist, a nice loose relaxed elbow and shoulder. And the third L is low. We do not want to be following through with our wrist at our eyeballs. We want our wrist to be in line kind of with our belly button, nice and low. We're gonna transition from follow through number one to our nice long, our, our triple L follow through. And these progressions have also helped a lot of my pitchers feel the looseness we want in our shoulder. The hardest part that I have found pitchers struggle with is keeping it relaxed, the loose part. They're able to keep it long, they're able to keep it low, but keeping it loose is kind of difficult. So these progressions will hopefully help your pitchers feel that. The first progression, you don't need a ball at all. We're gonna get into our power K position. So if you're a righty like me, if you're a lefty, just do the opposite of what I tell you right now. If you're a righty like me, you're gonna take a step forward, straight forward with your left foot, boom. With our right foot, we're gonna put our toe on the ground, heel in the air. Look, we have a nice bend in our right knee. And now our legs are in power K position. Now without a ball, all I want you to do is bring our palm up behind us, kind of like you're carrying a pizza around. Bring it up behind you, keeping this nice bend in the elbow. At this point in Power K, we want our arms to look kind of like a W, not like a T. This nice bend in the elbow tells me that you're loose. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna let our hand drop down. We're gonna kind of swivel at the elbow and just let it drop and flop. <laughs> drop and flop forward. And all we're gonna do is practice swinging our arms back, forward and backwards naturally. You can kind of take a step in with this left foot if you want, because we want the stance to be comfortable. The focus is on the follow through today, not necessarily the legs. And here I want you to notice that when we bring our hand back, our palm naturally turns up. And when we just let our hand drop and flop, 
our hand naturally turns over to be facing towards the ground, the palm. This is exactly what we want for the follow through. We want to just kind of drop our hand, snap it off, and then flop our wrist straight forward, keeping it nice and low. Notice, I'm not really moving my shoulder at all. We're not, we're not making these giant rainbows. Keep it nice and low and relaxed. The next progression from here, when you're ready, once you feel like you or your pitcher is not forcing a really long follow through with the shoulder, is to take the ball and we're gonna do a self snap. So now we're gonna get in the same position back here and we're gonna continue with our arm swings. We're gonna do three arm swings, this time with the ball, not changing anything. Our palm is still in this up position behind us and still facing down in front of us. We're gonna do three arm swings one, two, three, and after the third arm swing, we're gonna take our glove and we're going to snap it into our glove and follow through right above it. So for me, I got this beautiful Timex watch. <laughs> I was not promoted to say that or anything. I just really like my watch. <laughs> but when, when you follow through, you want your wrist to kind of connect here for this self snap. So I like doing the self snap because it really helps pitchers stay nice and low and you kind of want your, your throwing hand cupped over your glove hand. That way you know it's also facing the correct direction. So it'll be three swings. One, two, three, and a snap with the follow through. One, two, three, snap with the follow through. Kind of got my fingernail on that one. So let me show you guys that one again. One, two, three, nice low loops. The third progression, once you are feeling comfortable keeping it nice and low, or sometimes, honestly, sometimes the self snaps don't work that well for pitchers. If that's the case, progress right to this drill, is to actually pitch it to a catcher or to a net. So in this case, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna swing our arm back and forth three times. One, two, three, and then on the fourth one, you're going to release the ball and continue trying to keep your hand as floppy as possible. Four. One, two, three, four. And one thing you can do that I am trying to demonstrate here is you can keep your glove hand up. That way you have a reference. You wanna make sure that your throwing arm follow through is lower than your glove hand. If you've made it this far in the video, do me a favor and comment follow through in the comment section below. It makes me really happy to hear from all of you guys and to see that you've made it this far in our drills. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that way you can get a new video every time it comes out. Click the thumbs up but button if you like this video so that way we can help everyone everywhere learn how to pitch. And if you haven't already, or if you don't know, we do have a free newsletter where I dive into some extra details that I don't necessarily cover in our YouTube video. So I encourage you to go sign up for that on our website, plusultrapitching.com, if you're interested in learning some extra tips and tricks from me. Just to summarize what we learned today, we want a nice long follow through, we want a low follow through, and we want a loose follow through. We wanna feel very relaxed when we're done letting go of that pitch, and a great drill to do that, to do that, <laughs> is to just practice swinging our arm back and forth as naturally as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, Plus Ultra!